Hi friends, my name is Lisa Schmidt and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I am excited to be here this evening, Monday evening, and today is uh, June 26th. Like, it's almost July. New in the studio. <laughs> New in the studio, what the heck, it's almost July, craziness. Um, so someone said to me, and I thought this was a really good description as a teacher or anybody, well, as a teacher, I guess, of June, July, and August, like June is like Friday, July is like Saturday, and August is like Sunday because we're already starting to get ready. As soon as it hits August, my brain starts going to school. So anyway, um, I'm glad to be in the end of Ju or June and still have July. So super fun. Anyway, oh, there they are. Okay. Um, I, tonight I want to show you something that's new to me. It's not necessarily new in the catalog, but it's new to me. It's called Painted Posies. It's a 3D embossing folder. And there are just some super cute things that we can do with it. So I have several things that I want to show you, but, um, so this is it. Hey, Laverne. Hey, Tanya. Hi, friends. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Hi, Sandy. Oh my goodness. It's so like there's, I just looked at that and I was like, wow. There's a lot we can do with that. So first, I wanted to say that um, I embossed it. Let's see, it'll fit right in there. And I kind of lined it up on the line. You don't have to, and you could certainly emboss it either direction. You could go this way, it doesn't matter. And so it, the nice thing is you can go this way and there's plenty of space or it'll cover lots. So, but it is big, so you need to use your big boss, not your mini boss. Correct. Um, and I just used this paper is shimmery white paper because um, if you're not using watercolor paper, this is a good one to use. Um, I am going to color just a few things. <laughs> I uh, did one where I tried to color a lot, and I was like, mm, yeah, no, that that doesn't work so well for me. I think it's a patience thing. Just saying. So. <laughs> Actually, I know it is. So I'm just going to color a little bit here. And I'm going to go with, did you say there was an old olive in one of them? We were just looking up the colored pencils, Granny Apple. We were just looking up the colored pencils, and there's two assortments, and they are different than what um, I have. So I was trying to use colors that I have that match um, what you would see. Okay, so there's two things I can do to blend this. These are watercolor pencils, and I can either use my watercolor brushes, which come in a set of three. This is the smallest one. Or I could use a blender pen. Personally, I prefer the watercolor because I find that blender pens, um, they are a little bit, I don't want to say they're, I guess they're, they feel drier to me. And this is just how I figure out if it's wet. I just keep squeezing the water until I feel like it's actually coming out. There it is. Okay, so I'm just going to color this one flower because it's so pretty. And you could do it also by using this and picking up ink off, and then I'm going to get rid of that blue, picking off ink off of a um, stamp pad. That would be another way to do it. So we just kind of go over it. There's really no right or wrong. Uh, I think I might do, gosh, I might do one more right here. I'm going to do one more. So you just kind of scribble and then, oh, and this one, cause it's a, like a little set of three there. And then, um, you just go over it with the water. So how many of you like watercolor pencils? I'd love to hear what you think. All right, let's go back with this and we'll see what we got. If we got it. Do, 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 do. What'd you do today? I'm curious. What'd you do today? I um, tutored this morning and then I'm going to add a little bit more of the color here. And then I went to school because I hadn't finished closing up my classroom. So I'm trying to get these really kind of dark. And so when I go back in after it's wet, I can really get more of that color. So that's kind of fun because it's definitely showing up a lot more when I go back in after I've already colored and wet it a little bit. I did do this one too, but I'm going to wet this one first. And then I'm going to go back in and add a little bit more. Sometimes it's fun to color. 
I saw one that someone had made. She colored everything that was absolutely beautiful. But then I tried to do it and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing I don't have the patience for it. Shocker, huh? I'm not, I, I am patient with some things. I was not patient with that for sure. All right. So we've got these pretty little flowers. We see lots of people who use them and also don't use them enough. I'm going to try. I'm just going to grab a little piece of paper here and try. Make sure that's got some juice in it and just see what happens with these. Little blender pen here. Little blender pen action. You have a little more control with the blender pen. I'm going to wipe it off and do the green. There we go. So just that little bit. I'm not going to do um, any more. That's kind of it. And um, I was kind of going for a pool party, but I sort of ended up in more of a coastal cabana um, color. But Or I could do it with, um, I think I'm going to go this way. So this one was coastal cabana because I have a coastal cabana. Oh, sorry, pool party. This was pool party because I have a pool party ribbon. I wanted to use that. But um, I don't think I want to do that because I think this goes better. What do you think? Sure. I think it looks prettier here. All right, so I'm going to use, my next card is also using this Melon Mambo, so I was trying to use two different colors, but... Diane also loves the watercolor pencils. Oh, good. Good, good, good. All right. Well, now I'm kind of in a pinch because I was wanted to use this ribbon. Do you like a different ribbon? Uh, if you want to find one, if you can find one that you think looks good. So I'm starting with a simpler card, and then I'm going to take it up a notch. I'm doing this because I want to see, well, what color would this be? It still doesn't look quite right. Maybe it's okay. It's all right. I'll just do the pool party, love. That's good. Oh, he has something else. So, Okay, dokie. Here it comes. Here he comes. Oh, great. Awesome. Look at that. We can use Two either of those. Colors. Great. I'm going to use the green then, the parakeet party so let's go ahead and stick this oops before i stick it on i do want to tie this around so i am going to put a little adhesive there look at that caught myself just at the last minute there we go i have to say um, it is a gorgeous day here today and it's a little warm now but it was cooler before and when I went outside to go to school, I thought, ooh, maybe I'll go play pickleball instead. But surprise, I went, surprise, I know, but I surprise. didn't. I stuck with my plan because I had to go to school at some point. So I was kind of proud of myself because I did really want to go play pickleball instead. All right, let's go ahead and pop that on there. So really just using the 3D embossing folder and letting that do our, make, make, letting that make it pretty. Um, the thing I thought I would use for a little sentiment is the word hello, which this hello comes from Artistically Inked, and uh, it's just right here. The best wishes is really cute, too. I'm going to use that. I'll show you that in a different one. So I'm just going to use this little hello, and I did die cut out something to you. Oh, here it is. Put it in a little container so I wouldn't lose it. How about that? <laughs> All right. I feel like I have two there. I do. Just in case. All right. And here's our melon mambo. So I'm going to go with that since that's my background color. Let's do a little hello. There we go. And I'm going to pop this here and then I'm going to make a little bow on it. All right. Let's go ahead and pop that up. So just by coloring a tiny bit, really not coloring a lot, um, I got kind of a nice little Cheryl said watercolor pencils were a big hit at our last wounds retreat. Oh, there you go. There you go. All right, so let's go ahead and I think I might make a bow. Oh, you know what? Let's just do this, and then I'll just stick it on. That's easier. Cheryl, I sent you an email today. Make sure you check it out. All right. So, there we go, like that. And I'm gonna grab a glue dot, which I still, oh, here, there, right here. Oof, almost done with them though. 
All right, let's pop this on like start at the end. Just grab that and I'll pop it on right there. Yeah, much better than trying to tie it on because then it doesn't sit as nicely. There we go. Oh, and I do have, uh, I have a piece of white to put inside so that we have a complete card. So we'll stick this inside just so you can write on it. And there we go. So Stampin' Up! just did a little survey and said, what phrases do you want? <laughs> I said, Please don't say you said hello. No, I said, Grandma tells you to always stay out of the kitchen. It's a pickleball <laughs> reference. <laughs> and one more game. So I'm really um, vying for a pickleball set. set. Yeah. All right, so what do you well, think? There you go. if you can there sell a million this year, maybe we'll make pickleball oh, here. Dandy. He's so funny. I'm going to go over this. But yeah, there we go. And the other thing I was going to add is a little bit of bling. I always add bling, right? And I'm going to go with the same with that um, Melon Mambo. I just need this. And you know you got to put bling, right? I love bling. Bling goes with everything. Here we go. One there. And we'll do one kind of uh, over here. Okay, there we go. A little bit of bling. All right, hon, what bada do you bling, have? Bada bling, bada bling. Yeah, bada bling, bada bang. What do you have for us? So we have a couple things coming up, one of which is Card Cafe. I am happy to say we have lots of people signing up for Card Cafe. Oh, good. Our next Card oh, Cafe is going to be on, sorry, switch. July 8th. July 8th. And... It's going to be on July 8th, and you will not want to miss it because there's You no won't. There we go. Um, Card Cafe is $25. You get to come and choose five of the designs. You make two of each card, um, two of each design, and you walk away with 10 wonderful cards. So please sign up. Go to the stamperstudio.com to sign up for that. And the other thing that's going on right now, just till the end of the week, is the Designer Series paper sale. So currently, if you, again, go to the stamperstudio.com, click on Order Stampin' Up! Products, you can order all of these great designer series papers that are currently on special. So Ooh. Masterfully Made is hands down my favorite. Absolutely. That is my favorite of the new designer series papers. And right now you can get it for just $10.62. What a deal. What a deal. What a deal. Inks Botanicals is also very fun. If you want something that's more in sort of your basic layer, Glorious Gingham is a good option there. Stargazing is something completely different. Not my style. But if that's something that appeals to you, maybe you have grandkids that like space and planets and things, that might be a good option there. Um, Earthen Elegance is another great one. Countryside Inn is just a really classic. Yeah, There's just so, so many pretty. great things that you could do with that paper. But all of these are currently on sale. Bright and Beautiful and Zoo Crew are two of my favorites, just yes, saying. Exactly. Okay. Um, on sale till the, well, till the end of the month. Yes, which so, is coming up soon. Yeah. Exactly. So don't miss out. Designer series paper and great deals to be had there. Thanks, Dave. They are great deals. And even if you're not using it right now, you might as well stock up, right? Hi, Patty. All right. So there we go. What do you think? Do you think it, I think it's kind of cute. I think it's cute. I think it's cute too. Okay. I am going to make one more card. And this one is one that we are going to make a card cafe. Um, like I said, I am using Melon Mambo again. I'm trying to push all these things out of your view. Good luck there, right? <laughs> uh, melon Mambo. I would use Berry Burst, but you know what? I am all out. I, I ordered some and it should be here soon, but right now I'm out of Berry Burst. <laughs> so Melon Mambo. And then I, um, here's the embossing. Look at how deep that is. It is really quite wonderful. Because it is a 3D embossing folder. Right. And so I just cut a little piece of white. So my white is a quarter inch in. So this is this this is four and a quarter by five and a half, actually by eleven, right? By five and a half. So then we go into four by five and a quarter. So then we go into three and three quarters by five. Just keep moving it in the layers, and that works really well. All right. So 
and put that there and we'll stick this on. Uh, thinking, do I have ribbon around it? No, I don't. I'm good. Just thinking, just making sure. I got Saturdays ready and I was all excited. I was like, woohoo, I'm done. I was like, oh dear, I need to get tonight ready, which I did. Okay, so here we go with the artistically inked. I'm going to use this flower and then the leaves and they are just so pretty. I'm going to use, um, of course, I use our like a hundred times a day. That's hyperbole. <laughs> stylish shapes. Um, so I tell our kids every time I hear hyperbole, simile, metaphor. Anyway, stylish shapes, probably hands down one of my favorite. I used it for the tag on this one and I used it for the tag on this one and on the other ones that I'm going to show you. So that's where the square came from. All right. I do not need to use a mat because I am, it's a it's not clear, clear stamp, a cling stamp. So I'm going to stamp our flower in I want it that way. I'm gonna snap it kind of over here. So pretty. And then what I did is I die cut out a the die cut so that I can mask it and put on the leaves. Now I could die cut this out and pop it up and do all that, but you know what? I don't have to. I can simply stamp my leaves. And if you notice here, I want you to see. So this is cardstock, right? It's not a post-it note. It's cardstock. So I, if I put it right here on the very edge, like I cover up everything, there will be a small white line and it's not very well masked. So, but if I pull it like this, just in a little bit where I can see some of that, it's going to be just perfect. So let's go ahead and stamp those flowers. Oh, I still got a little line. That's okay though. And I'm going to stamp. it looks just wonderful. Yeah, it does. Thank you, Dave. So I'm going to do it one more time. Um, let's see. Mm, maybe I'll just leave it. It's kind of pretty just like that. What do you think? Sure. I was debating on one more set of leaves. Let's just look and see. I would do one more. I know. Down it kind of looks a little um, sparse without it. Down to the seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, love that. So I'm going to leave a little more space this time, seeing that I had a little line there, which is hardly not the end of the world by any means, but look at that one. So that is perfect. See that? Now, what I could do is just take a marker, or in my case, because I happen to have my colored pencils, just grab a little bit and just color that in so it doesn't stand out quite so much. And nobody knows the difference. There we go. Okay, so this piece is going to go right on here. And my adhesive. Love using this as a background too. Actually, I think I'm gonna pop it up. Because I'm using, because this is a 3D embossing, I think it would be better to actually pop it up because it's already gonna have some. I was um, just going to suggest that. You were. See, great minds think alike, so they say. Right. Actually, what I was going to say is when I put things on top of my, oh my 3D gosh, embossing stop. folders. <laughs> stop. And that's those midnight, midnight stamping. That's why you find the dimensionals all over. I know. All right. Such a funny guy, right? So funny. Okay. Yep. I'm going to put it just like that. And... So pretty. Very pretty. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp our hello again. I'm just going to use that same word and using the same die. And I might put it right here because there's a gap right there. I could put it down here, but I think I'm going to put it right there and overlap it just a little bit. So we'll use our little hello right there. Boop. All right. So there's our hello. Let's close up that. Love Old Olive. Old Olive is like a friend. When I when I opened it up, I was like, hi, friend. Yeah, I'm going to put that right there. And instead of a dimensional, I'm going to take my adhesive and put it just on the top because this is already has a dimensional. Oh, I smudged. Risafras. That's okay. I'm going to stick that on there. So it could go like that. It could also go like that. I kind of like it straight. I yep. like it better without what yep. Dave was saying. Started to say something. I and think then, I said, yep. Yep. And then I'm going to tuck a little dimensional underneath because now I know where it sits. I'm just going to tuck one right there. 
And there we go. Now what this one needs, I'm going to add a couple of gems, of course. And I thought these, mm, it's sequin gems. I don't have the name handy, but my assistant's going to look them up. And you know what? I'm so tempted to put one right there, but that's not going to work. So let's put one. Uh, we got space over here. So we'll get that there. We'll put another one over here. And then I'm going to put one down here like that. Okay. Are those the pastel adhesive back sequins? Yes, it has pretty peacock. Is that what it is? Um, and then the last thing yes. I'm going to do. Awesome. The last thing I'm going adhesive to do. Adhesive back sequin trio. Thank you. Adhesive back sequin trio. And I'm going to take a, my white piece of paper. Um, or I'll just put it like that and I'll do a white piece of paper while Dave is telling us our next. Did you have something else to tell us? Nope. Oh, he has nothing else to tell us. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece of paper inside because I wanted to put some stamps inside. It's like perfect for that. All right, I'm going to cut that off, so I'm not worried there. <laughs> All right, let's do this. It's just going to make it make it work. That's under four, so I'm just going to cut this off, and we'll see what it looks like. I think it should be fine. I'm going to make it a little shorter. All right, so I thought we should definitely stamp some flowers inside here because we can, right? Oh, yeah, perfect. All right. Um, and I was thinking we could do the same flower or this flower is really quite pretty. I wonder if it's too big. Let's take a look and see. It's pretty big. Oh, let's do these little ones. Haven't used this in a while. You know, I, I, I just have not used it. So let's stamp these. How cute are they? These three. Okay. And we'll go back to our melon mambo. I'm going to stamp them right here, just in the corner like that. Perfect. Okay. Pop that on there. I haven't been looking at any comments. What do you think? Um, I think this is really pretty. And this is one we are making at Card Cafe because we're going to use that 3D embossing folder. There it is. I think it's so, so pretty. All right, let me show you a couple other things I did. So I showed you that one and we made this one. And then I actually tried a couple things. I wanted to see what would happen if I took ink and put the dark ink on my embossing folder. You can see I've got white here because that was my second one. So I put ink on it and this is on vanilla. So there's that. That is putting ink on the embossing folder on the right side. The right side is the side with the, Stampin Up, with the Stampin' Up logo. So I put it on the right side and then put this in here, close it up, run it through, and that's how it came out. Now. With dark ink. With, with dark ink, yeah, with um, Got it. Uh, the sky, starry sky. Now this side, look how beautiful that is. This side, I was like, hmm, because I, I wasn't super thrilled with this. I'm like, it, it's pretty, but it's just, I don't know. I didn't really care for it. So then I took the ink and I just took the whole pad and went like this and look at that. I mean, to me, I'm like, now that's pretty because the indent did not get ink on it. Mm. Isn't that pretty? Got it. And then I took, uh, I thought, well, what about white ink on Starry Sky? So I took white ink and put it on Starry Sky. And I put actually put it on both sides. I did the whole thing because I thought, well, then I can just decide which side I like, right? This side I did not like. I did this first and I did not like that side. I liked this side so much that I made a card out of this side. So I said, I told you I was using that best wishes. And this is just sort of a, it's a simple fun fold because that is just a half a card, half a sheet of cardstock folded back. And so when you open it, you open it like that. It's just sort of a simple fun fold. And then I thought, um, I went ahead and I was like, well, what can be an alternate color? Well, I had the gold little butterflies. So then I thought, oh, well, let's use this ribbon, which is stunning. This is the gold and vanilla ribbon. It is not new, but it was carried over because it was so popular. And then do you see the little piece of gold behind it? I know you do. So instead of, 
I was trying to, I, I took our circle and went with the next bigger one gold and it was just too much. So I thought, oh, that's good. That kind of just sits behind it. So there you have it. And you do have the other side, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. So this is the side I liked best though. But I thought, well, I'll do both sides because then I can just choose, right? So there we have it. There are our um, painted posies. Painted posies. I just thought they're so pretty and really, really deep. I think that's what made it so stunning to me is that it was um, just so pretty. So what do you think? Sandy says, I love the cards. Yeah. And you know what? They're, I love when cards are beautiful, but yet they did not take too much time. Really, when you run it through, I mean, that becomes your card because that 3D embossing folder is just so, so pretty. Um, on Saturday, I'm going to show you some new dies that are so pretty. They're shaped like little daisies and they are gorgeous. It will be another card cafe card. So you can see, you get to see some things that we're making. All right, friends, I hope you have a great week. Um, do something extraordinary this week. Let's step out of the ordinary and do something extraordinary. Whether it's snapping or something else, doesn't matter. But um, we will see you on Saturday. And until then, sign up for Card Cafe and happy stamping.